Hey, what's up you amazing hackers? Hope you're all doing well today and welcome back to the channel. What is the OWASP ASV as or the Application Security Verification Standard? Welcome to our next chapter in the OWASP exploration where we explore the different tool sets that OWASP offer us. Now, what is this specifically? What is the ASVS? This is basically a, like it says, an application security verification standard. This is a standard with all kinds of little requirements that can be separately referenced for web application security. So here we can see that we have a possibility of using this as a metric, providing application developers and application owners with a yardstick with which to assess the degree of trust that can be placed in their web applications. Also as guidance, providing guidance to security control developers as to what to build into their security controls in order to satisfy application security requirements and for use during procurement for providing a basis for specifying application security verification standard requirements and contracts. As you can see, we can download the PDF here and we'll take a look at that in a bit. But first of all, let's talk about these reference numbers because as we'll go through this document, you will see that every single requirement has its own reference number, which is a chapter followed by a section followed by the requirement itself. And let's give it a shot, shall we? Let's have a look. So you can download the PDF. You can also download the Word version for easier editing. And if we go down, the very first thing we can see is how to use the ASVS. A few pages on that. And then on assessment and certification. Let's talk about the first chapter v1 architecture design and threat modeling here they go deeper into different sections such as secure software development lifecycle, authentication architecture access control architecture etc let's open one of these all right so these are the references that we saw before 1.1.1 chapter section and then the standard itself verify for example the use of all secured software development lifecycle that addresses security in all stages of development and then it has a little bit of a reference to c1 and we can see that here as well osp 2018 c1 is defined security requirements not that that's super important let's go back to the pdf instead of of course my my documentation itself let's pick a random page here one time verifiers verify that the time based otps have been have a defined lifetime lifetime before expiring you can also see different levels here and we can see the cwe reference and the nist reference as well now what are those levels if we go back up here we can see how to use this standard we have three levels basically level one the first steps automated or whole portfolio view level two is most applications and level three is high value high assurance or high safety what does that mean if you see a check mark on level one this basically means that it's the first steps everything should go through this level two most applications should at least confirm to these standards and level three we have high security applications that need to require that need to conform to these standards. So if we take, for example, 5.2.1, we see that it's both level one, level two, and level three. Verify that all untrusted HTML input from what you see is what you get editors or similar is properly sanitized with an HTML sanitizer for library or framework feature. Now, if you're a bug bounty hunter, this is something that if you're smart, you know how to use this to your advantage. This is a very useful guide because here you can see different things that can go wrong based on security level. So you can take your application, you can take this document and you can see if there are things in this document which match your application. Like if you have a what you see is what you get editor, you can already see that input should be properly sanitized with an HTML sanitizer library. That is something you should be checking, of course. So this is 
the OWASP application security verification standard. As a developer, you can go through all of this. In procurement, you can be using this. And also for security testing, this is a great standard. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. My name is DXSS Red. If you want more information about my courses, dxsred.com and use code RED for a 25% off coupon. Thank you very much. I will see you in the next one.